Okay, during the holiday season, mothers all over the nation share stories of loss caused by the war on drugs. Here to shed light on this important issue and to talk about their latest campaign is the executive director of Moms United to end the war on drugs, Gretchen Burns Bergman, a new PATH board of directors, President Caroline Stewart, and a new PATH board member, Anita Fisher. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Let's talk about this movement to start with Gretchen. So in uh, 2012, we started this campaign. Uh, by the way, Moms United to End the War on Drugs is a project of a new path, uh, which is a parent organization. And we have mothers across the nation who are, get involved in these different awareness campaigns. So the empty chair at the holiday table campaign started in 2012 because we realized this is a time that everybody's out there celebrating but there's a lot of families who are in deep pain over the loss of, of a loved one at their holiday settings um, because of substance use disorders. One in three families is dealing with uh, somebody who's struggling with a substance use disorder, and we've typically treated it as a criminal, you know, mm -hmm. act rather than it's it's a, uh, it's it's a true disorder that that needs treatment and healing and compassion. So um, so we decided to use this this particularly poignant painful time mm -hmm. to speak out and and try to engage other parents who are uh, maybe silent because of the, the stigma associated with mm -hmm. it so we invite people to to place a chair at their holiday table to, to put a place card and and honor that person and mm -hmm. talk about the person uh, to break down the, the the barriers that are caused by stigma interesting Caroline and Anita you've been with this for quite a while now talk to us about about what happened your experiences that led you to become involved with this organization? Well, I was um, uh, teaching in the school of social work at San Diego State, um, gosh, now 19 years ago, and uh, my son has been struggling with addictive illness um, since he was 14 and he's 37. Mm. So I saw an article in the newspaper about Gretchen and a new path, and I contacted her and have been a this has been kind of the heart of our family now for 17 years because it's a, a tragic truth to have children that you love that are struggling and um, you know our friends their children are going off to college and whatever and we're we're thrilled if our children are going into recovery mm -hmm. it's a long journey yeah. we have ups and downs um, our son has been incarcerated uh, recently just got out from a year of incarceration for stealing after he was homeless I stealing see. food at the oh, bonds where we spent wow. thousands of dollars wow. I'm not kidding that's wow. very ironic mm. so right now we're very happy because he's sober and stable but um, well, good. every time we, the phone rings, it's a yeah. it's a difficult time. Yeah, Anita, how about your way. experience? In my experience, I have an adult son who also lives with mental health challenges. Mm -hmm. So he had what they call co-occurring, which is mental illness and then the substance use disorder. So through another organization, I found a new path mm -hmm. because they were treating it separately. Nice. So I was, you know, involved with the new path and joined their board and the fabulous work that they do because they. They believe in restorative justice and harm reduction mm -hmm. and my son needed treatment and not punishment and mm -hmm. as Caroline said you know instead he kept going to jail because he was homeless and addicted and so the work that they do the mission of a new path is to help change that in the stigma reduce the stigma of, of uh, substance use disorders and mental illness so if there's any moms in our, our viewing audience right now who might want to reach out to you what's the best way to do that well, our phone number, 619-670-1184, but you might want to look at our websites, um, uh, momsunited.net or anewpath.org, um, and, and to see the work that we do to really advocate and educate about the true nature of, of substance use disorders and the need to treat them in a therapeutic, restorative mm -hmm. uh, manner, compassionate manner, rather than as a criminal justice And issue. what is the website? Uh, the website is anewpath.org. Anewpath.org. We'll put a link on our website at KUSI.com. Thank you. All right, Gretchen, Caroline, Anita, thank you so much for coming thank in this you. morning. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, we'll be right back with more Good Morning San Diego.